If you're a coach who's looking for lead magnet ideas, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to share with you lead magnet ideas tailored especially to coaches, the people who I help, that can help you attract your ideal clients, get their email addresses and start to grow a list of people that you can nurture, create relationships and ultimately sell to. So before we get started, who am I to talk on this subject? Why should you listen to me? I'm Bernadette Doyle and for over 25 years, I've been helping coaches to get new clients. And a key part of my strategy has been to have a lead magnet, have a piece of content that you can offer out to someone in exchange for their email address. And so that starts a relationship and it then means that you can follow up with that person, you can continue to offer more value and ultimately make offers so that you then can enroll them for your coaching programs. So this is a key strategy that I've been using for a long time. It's a favorite that I like to share with my clients. But before I get into it, I also want to let you know that having a lead magnet is not essential for getting new clients. And in fact, I've got another video for you, which will show you how to get clients without a lead magnet. So if gaining clients is your goal, make sure to check that one out also. But sooner or later, it does make sense to have a lead magnet for your coaching business. Because again, this is a piece of content that you can offer out to your target audience and and get people to raise their hands. And it means that you're identifying who are the people who are most interested in what you've got to offer. And then you can focus your follow up on those people. Now, I've also got another piece of content for you, which is all around that email follow up. And I'll add the link to that video below. But let's just stick right now with the lead magnet and making sure that you've got a lead magnet that will work for your coaching business. So now I want to walk you through an eight step checklist that I use with my clients. So number one, your lead magnet needs to be connected to the problem that is solved by the solution you're selling. In other words, if you're a weight loss coach, you need to make sure that your lead magnet addresses a specific problem that your target clients are likely to have. So that means don't try and squeeze everything you know about this subject into your lead magnet. That's not going to work. You need to think about, well, when you talk to prospective clients, what is a key challenge that they have? Is it um staying motivated? Is it getting motivated in the first place? Is it getting the right diet plan? Is it how to handle cravings? Is it how to plan for weekends uh, while they're sticking to a diet? You will know from the conversations that you're already having with your target audience what the key challenges are. The biggest problem with most lead magnets is that they just aren't specific. They're far too vague. And so pick one so that you can offer a specific solution to that specific problem. It is very, very important that you are specific. So you need to ask yourself what the specific challenges faced by your specific market and what specific process or system do you have to deliver a specific solution. So we're not trying to cram everything you know into this lead magnet. You're not trying to solve all of their problems into this lead magnet. You're just trying to cover one specific thing that can solve a specific problem for them. And the reason for that is because when you offer a specific solution to a specific problem, the market literally will be a path to your door. Okay, next, you want to make sure that your lead magnet is just promising one big thing as opposed to lots of little things. So you don't want to have a lead magnet, which is 101 ways that you can lose weight over the next month. People don't want to be bombarded with lots of things. Pick one thing. So promise one specific thing, a special drink that you can drink every morning that will Will help you lose five pounds this month. You can see that's a specific solution and it's got a specific promise. Big mistake that new coaches make with their lead magnets is they think they have to pile tons of content in and you don't. Less is more. That desire to put lots of content in is usually coming from a place of insecurity and fear of not being enough. But you're not trying to solve all of those, their problems in this lead magnet. You just want one thing, one piece of value. So a good way to identify this is like, what's your silver bullet? If you would just have to do one thing that would really get results, what would it be? So for example, in my business, there's a thing that I do with my clients, which helps them to get new clients in 48 hours. And that's perfect for a lead magnet. It's like, the specific thing that I have people do that generates clients in 48 hours. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your lead magnet speaks to a known and desired end result. So for example, let's say you are a business coach who works with plumbers. You could have a lead magnet that says the plumber's guide to internet marketing, but you'll have a lot more success with a lead magnet, which is the five ways that you as a plumber can get more customers this week. Can you hear that the second one is much more specific and it's 
speaks to the end result that they're after. It may well be that you're using internet marketing to find those clients, but you want to talk about the result, not the process. Another important part of your lead magnet is immediate gratification. So this is why something that's immediately downloadable and instantly consumable is ideal. This is why I love PDFs for lead magnets. I have actually tested this a few years ago. I had a 14 day course and I found that that was a problem for two issues. First of all, I didn't have as many people sign up for it. And equally, a lot of people weren't completing the course. So you want something that you can get into people's hands and have them consume right away. For this reason, I also rule out webinars as a lead magnet. I do use them in my business to convert interest into paying business, but I don't like them at the front end because they are not instantly consumable. So if I want to maximize volume of leads, I start with a PDF and I recommend that you do too. Now, let me be clear here for a second. There is a difference between your lead magnet and your conversion process. So your lead magnet is designed to get people to raise their hands and then your conversion process that comes after is about turning that raised hand into paying business. But there is something you can do in your lead magnet that helps to start that process. What this is, is moving your prospect down a continuum of belief. What do I mean by that? The biggest hurdle that you have to overcome when you're selling coaching is the prospect's lack of belief in themselves. And so what you want to do in your lead magnet is show them something they didn't know that makes them believe that they can finally achieve the result that you're promising. And the reason to do this in your lead magnet is because it will help with your sales conversions later on. The next thing you want to do with your lead magnet is to make sure it has a high actual value. And that means you must promise and deliver the goods. A lot of people think that because a lead magnet is free, then people are actually going to want it. But these days, free means nothing. In fact, if anything, we have too much information at our fingertips. So you need to indicate in your lead magnet why have all of the information out there that should they pay attention to this one. And to go back to something I mentioned earlier, that really is about having a specific promise and a desire desirable end result. Last but not least, in fact, I would argue that this is probably the most important part of your lead magnet, is that you want to have a really strong, compelling hook. You actually want something that when you put it out there, people are like, wow, I really want that. So how can you find an ideal lead magnet hook? Here's a great question. If you only had two minutes to impress someone, what would you say, show or give them that would totally blow their mind? Whatever the answer to that question is, that's what needs to be in your lead magnet. I know that now this may bring some fear up for you. You might start to ask, am I giving away too much for free? But you need to know that these days you want to offer your best value up front and to start that relationship. And then afterwards you can put things in place that will help you to convert that interest into paying business. So don't be afraid about giving your best information up front. This is a powerful way to stand out. And the bottom line is the reason that people will hire you isn't because of a tip or a tactic. It's because they want your help in implementing. That's what coaching does. It actually helps people translate information actually into implementation. So don't be afraid of giving great information up front. What that really does is it showcases your expertise and it gives people an idea of why they should be choosing you. So ask the question, what's the one thing more than anything I really want my prospects truly to know? And again, that will guide you to great content to put in your lead magnet. So I hope that's helped you and given you some great ideas that you can use for your lead magnet as a coach. And remember, your next paying client is already out there. They're already looking for the solution that you can provide. So make a commitment that you're going to get great value to them so that they can raise their hands and you can then convert that interest into paying business. Hope this has inspired you. Do leave a comment below on any questions you may have or just how this impacted you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. (music) 